Hey, this is Daniel Norton. I'm in the Valley of Fire in Nevada with Marissa. <laughs> and we're driving through. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> we're kind of driving through and it's such a beautiful, we're in a bit of a cloud right now. The sun's coming down. In this video, we're just kind of out here shooting. We decided we were going to take a drive out here. We were in Las Vegas for some work. And, you know, this is kind of uh, just a beautiful area with these beautiful, like, crisp red rocks. And uh, when the sun hits them, we get super saturated color. And when we're kind of in the shade or in the clouds right now, we get like a duller color, kind of a different look. So we're going to explore both options. This is going to be super simple. This is all about timing and positioning, right? We, we know where the sun is. We pick the right color dress. We found a good spot. And we're basically just going to shoot it with the beautiful available light that's here. So it's simple, but it also requires a little planning. So I've got my computer over here set up. It's in uh, Capture One plugged in. And let's see what we're going to get. So this is the cloudy look. We'll start here. This shot is all about the grandeur, right? So essentially what I'm going to do is shoot wide. And I'm just going to use the meter in my camera and I'm just going to explore the exposure until I get it where I want it. Looks like about four and a half, two hundredth of a second. We'll take a shot and see what that looks like. Cool. That looks pretty good. You know, we're getting some kind of saturation, some kind of interesting vibe here going on. Um, she looks great, as always. The, the nice blue sky. A polarizing filter would probably help here. Uh, I didn't have one with me, though, because we kind of came upon this. So that one part of the planning that would have been nicer. Um, and what we're going to do here is hope that we get some more bursts of sun. But I'm not going to stop, right? We're going to shoot because it won't take long to get a good shot here. But let's just shoot and get some varying light. I'm just going to watch the light levels. Control my camera as we go. I'm set about 35 millimeter because I want to create kind of a, a vibe of space. And I'll try and change my angle too. Like I'll come down for some and shoot up at her so she's really kind of strong and powerful. I'll go even wider for some and just show the whole grandeur of the area. And uh, all along, you know, we're just looking for that right angle. Beautiful, just like that. Nice and simple. Cool, that looks pretty good. Let's give it a second to see if we get, I think we're gonna get a little burst of sun. Let me just quickly look at these. It'd be nice just to get a nice little burst of sun because we can see that she's a little low contrast here. I mean, it looks fine. It's just a bit low contrast. It'd be nice to get a little sparkle in on her. Some flash or something would probably help, uh, but I really want to get the vibe of the sun. Yeah, I love that. I like that a lot, actually. So let's work the dress. Good, good, good. Here we go. Beautiful. Good. Nice. One more. Beautiful. Yeah, do you like, like swoop it like... Yeah, go. There we go. Beautiful. Just kind of playing around. There we go. That's nice. Beautiful. Okay, stand by. Good. Beautiful. Nice. That's it. Yeah. And try somewhere a little more turned. Is it yeah, the other way. There we go. And then just, yeah, there we go. That's it. That's it. That's nice. That's like that. Good. Perfect. Yep. And then swoop. Good. There we go. Out like this. Good, that, that, yeah, yeah, like go like this, almost like over the top and looking this way with your face. Yeah, look the other way though with the face. There we go, that's it, perfect. Perfect, beautiful. So patience is key here, right? It's, it's almost, it's basically shooting a landscape shot with a beautiful model in it, or, or Marissa, you know? So basically we're set up here, we've got the whole thing, I'm just waiting for the sun to be exactly right. You know, we came at the right time, but we also just want to be set up and ready, and I can actually feel it. Like you can actually feel the sun starting to come out, I want to get that extra pop. Not because I need light. I mean, I have plenty of light. It's just the contrast of the light that I want. So let's see. I can see it's coming. There we go. That's beautiful. Good. Turn a little bit more this way with your body. Yeah, good. Kind of fix this. Good, good, good. There we go. We got the sun's out now. Powerful. Good. We'll shoot a few like this. This is it. It's funny guys, the exposure hasn't really changed that much, but it's just the contrast that's different now. I'm gonna go a little bit darker though on my shutter to see if I can get some, some of this kind of saturation to come back up. Good, good, one more. Beautiful, I'm gonna take a quick look. Oh yeah, I kinda like it dark. It's kind of a little underexposed, but it really adds something to it because it gives you that feel of sunset. 
Beautiful. Oh yeah, the sun's really coming out now. Let me see. Beautiful, just like that, powerful, good. And again, I'm just kind of shooting several exposures to see what's working best for me. I'm gonna come in here. Hey there. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's a naturally occurring thing that just hangs out here. I know, I'm a creature of the, um, the Valley of Fire. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> All right, here we go. Strong, perfect. Chin up a bit. There it is. I love how it's creating almost like a, the shadows coming in on the one side, creating this like uh, vignette almost. Good, one more, good. Good, I'm gonna go slightly darker on the exposure. Beautiful like that. Good, I'm really overshooting it because I can't see her that much. So I gotta really watch the, the expression and also she's moving. Plus that beaut light is so beautiful. Beautiful, awesome. Okay, good. That is, oh wow, okay, good. Yeah, these are great. That's what we were waiting for. Our patience has paid off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the contrast is there. She's got that glow in her eyes because she's blinded probably. Um, all right, so since I got that, can you, how close can you get down without being dangerous? Very. Okay, be, be safe. <laughs> um, Stand yeah, can you go down? Sit, sit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think so. We've got the, oh yeah, that, 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 perfect. Good, all right, here we go. Trying for some variations here. Good, yeah, oh yeah, be beautiful. Yeah, oh, I like that, uh, out with the arm though. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Just like nobody would ever do, but that looks good in pictures. <laughs> All right, good, good. Oh, 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 careful. That's beautiful, oh, I like the messed up hair. That's good, 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 beautiful. Wow, I'm shooting so fast, I never do that. All right, uh, you, 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 uh, let me come over here. There's only problem with being tethered. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, good, good, good. Yeah, that's it, sit nicely, that's beautiful. Good, good, good. Beautiful. Nice, I'm gonna come back now. I like this new position, so I'm gonna get it from further back. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Good. Beautiful, chin up, just like that. Wow, beautiful. Awesome, that is amazing. Let's quickly check. Yeah, I'm keeping my exposure a smidge dark to keep maximum saturation, and I'm, oh, but actually I love it. It has that vibe. Wow, okay. It has that vibe. Okay, we're losing the sun now, so I think we've got that. Cool, so that's it, you know. Uh, I mean, you could drive around if you're in just a beautiful location, just look for the light, look for the time, get the subject there, do something really cool. Um, we're actually gonna, now the sun's down, I wanna shoot another shot kind of in low contrast. We're just gonna go on the other side and shoot kind of the muted colors and see what that looks like. Okay, so here we are, tethered. Again, I just sit the laptop right on top of my bag, keeps it out of the dirt and allows us to see exactly what we're shooting. We're over here in the second setup now. We're literally on the second, on the opposite side. You can see how blown out the sky is, but in here, the light's gonna be much more muted and soft. So let's shoot something like this and see what we get. All right, so the light is fading big time, but it's very soft, right? Because essentially the sky over here, which doesn't have any sun in it anymore, is, is our source. It's coming in just this really soft light. The colors are gonna be a little muted, which is kind of cool because we have such a bright color, so it'll kind of tone the whole thing down a bit. And uh, let's see what we're gonna get here. Again, I'm just using the meter and the camera. It's really simple. I'm gonna bump my ISO up a little bit, though. I'm gonna go 200 ISO, F4. And let's see what we get. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm, I'm still gonna do horizontal. I like this idea of using the space next to her as part of my shot. Oh yeah, that's pretty. All right, that's a smidge on the dark side. So again, I don't wanna to go too slow on my shutter to get blur, so I'm gonna to go to ISO 400. That's really pretty. Okay. Also, I know I'm gonna lose light as we go, so I'll start at ISO 400 with a slightly faster shutter, and then I can drop it as we go. Good. These are kind of cool like this. Good, good, good. Like this. All right, I'm gonna come back over here. Yeah, this is nice. You're good there. Let's see what we get. That's nice with the arm. Bring your face around slightly towards me, right there. Chin up, good, good, good. Bring it around this way. Good, pretty like that. Beautiful. 
And again, because I want to maintain saturation, I'm going to try to be a little bit darker. I, you know, you guys probably see that a lot of times I keep my exposure slightly lighter. But in this case, I want to keep it a little darker. Not crazy dark. But good. Beautiful. Nice like that. Oh, oh, sorry. Good, good, good. Focusing. Hold. Good, like that. And just... Good. <laughs> There's lots of interesting hair going on in this particular shoot. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it's like very... <laughs> it got windy and then I, yeah. I left my brush over like... Yeah. No, it's nice. I like it. That's pretty like that. That's really pretty. Just like that. Hold, 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 mold. Okay, good. Adjusting my exposure. Hold that great pose for 25 minutes while I get ready. Okay, good. Like that. Perfect. Good like that. Good, good, good. Again, because this is like kind of a grand, although it's not the Grand Canyon, but because it's kind of a grand shot, I'm trying to leave lots of kind of breathing room and stuff around her because I just think it really works with the setup. So just getting in super tight. Cool. Shoot a couple more. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to do one uh, vertical just to do it. Because you know, it's always good to do one vertical. Pretty. Might be too much color there. Can we have too much color? Good, good, good. That's pretty like that. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is I don't want to tilt the camera up because if I do, I'll do it when you see how it gets all distorted. So I'm actually going to back up and shoot wider, and then I'm going to crop the bottom of this in post because I want to put her down in the lower corner. So I'm kind of framing it with like extra space. Good like that. Good, good. Nice. One more looking off this way. Just like that. Pretty. Just like that. Focusing. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Nice. Okay, I think we got that. Let's take a quick peek. Yeah, so guys, I'm going to come in here. Although I actually kind of like all the space. As I was looking through the camera, I was thinking to myself what I would probably do. So I guess we'll decide. Was come in here and do this. That's kind of how I was imagining. Sometimes you, you can imagine a crop as you're going. Yeah, to create kind of like a little bit more drama. But then again, I kind of like it the other way too. I like it the other way too. That's why we shoot it. I think I'm going to take one more quick look and make. Nope, looks good. I think we're good. Come on down. Okay, so there we go. We got some great shots. This is a great example of kind of like thinking about where you're going to be and like kind of planning for it, right? We knew we were coming out here to Vegas. We were like, oh, Valley of Fire, bright colors, cool dress, right? Let's just come out here and do it. And while I do actually have a lot of equipment with me, I thought if we wait till sunset, we're going to get beautiful light out here naturally. And it's just really going to work. Because you can do all kinds of over the top stroby stuff, which maybe we'll do in another video. But uh, I just thought it was really nice to just work naturally. And the idea between shooting with this kind of more mellow shadowy stuff versus the beginning stuff is just really that's a decision you can make and even when the sun was really hard i could have still come over here and done the same thing because i'm on the shadow side of it right you've got your self light as it would be and then you have your north light and you can decide which one you think is going to be better for the shoot that you're doing so i will put marissa's information in the description you guys can follow her be sure to follow me daniel norton photographer subscribe to adorama tv and ring the bell for all the notifications and i'll see you next time on set